Consider the top issue facing development finance institutions. How can we grow capital flows to help reach the Sustainable Development Goals by 2030 and implement the Paris Climate Agreement? We need to make sure that the financing and advice that we provide to private enterprises in developing countries will make the biggest possible difference. I'd like to tell you about the joint ambitions that we are now setting out on climate and energy related finance. We set out these ambitions now ahead of the Financing Common Summit and next year's COP26. And as countries are striving to make a sustainable recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic, they can be summarized as six key commitments. We will align all financing with the Paris Agreement and transition our portfolios to net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. We will exclude coal and fuel oil financing and limit other fossil fuels until they're generally excluded by 2030. We will build on our track record of investing and mobilizing billions for renewable energy and other climate finance by setting ambitious targets and holding ourselves to them. We will support our clients to develop Paris-aligned projects that promote green growth and access to clean energy and advance climate adaptation and resilience, nature-based solutions and a just transition to the low-carbon economy. We will make transparent climate-related disclosures based on high international standards following the recommendations of the TCFD. And we will embed climate action and climate risk management at every level of our institutions. DFIs are diverse institutions. Just like private investors, they will follow different paths, making best efforts. Some will go further and faster in some areas, while others will need more time for implementation. But we believe that by working together, we can have the greatest impact. The European DFIs announce our ambitions now to set an example for other investors. I hope you will join us.